Hey math enthusiast, I'm here to finish up the notes on density. And in this video, we're going to define population density. So it's defined as the measure of how many people live within a given area. And my formula to calculate population density, similar to my formula to calculate density, is a ratio that compares the number of people to the area of land. Let's take a look at this first example. So New Jersey is the most densely populated state out of all 50 states. It has a total population of over 8 million people and an area of over 8,000 square miles. I wanna figure out what exactly is the population density. So just to review, in the state of New Jersey, I'm saying that my total population is that 8,882,000 people. And the total area, so I'm talking about all the space inside the state. So all of this space in the state of New Jersey is a total of 8,729 miles squared. Now, when I'm focused on population density, what I want to know is, okay, well, if I took one square mile in the state, how many people would I expect to live inside that little area based on the total population and the total area? So up here, you can see them using our formula for population density. They took the total number of people divided by the area of land so the two values that I just wrote down, the 8 million and the 8,000. And I can expect to find a little over 1,000 people per square mile. So in that little box on my map, that's a one by one, one square mile, I can expect to find 1,018 people. Now for this next example, I'm focused on just the city of Vineland. They tell me my area is a total of 62.99 square miles, and they tell me my total population is a little over 60,000 people. So in this case, I'm trying to figure out what exactly is my population density. Now, in order to find that, I'm gonna need the total population, which they told me was 60,034 people and I'm gonna divide that by my total area. So Vineland covers 62.99 square miles. So based on those numbers, I get a population density of 953 people per mile square. So what that's saying once again is that I can expect to find 953 people in every square mile in Vineland. Which brings us to our last example. So now I'm focused on New York City. So a very populated city. It has a population density of 27,818 people per square mile. So a lot more than the city of Vineland. And the land area is only 302 0.65 miles squared. Now, based on those figures, I want to figure out what is the total population of the city. So let's recall our formula. So for population density, it compares the total population to the total area. All right, well, let's simplify this a little bit more. So we'll say that density is defined by population divided by area. Now, in this case, I'm looking to solve for the population. I'm looking to solve for P. So let's see if we can rewrite this formula so that I can get P all by itself. Well, it looks like if I multiply both sides by A, those would cancel out and I would be left with just P. So in this case, it looks like to figure out what the population is going to be equal to, I have to take the population density times the total area. 
So let's rewrite that as I had it up here. So total population is going to be equal to the population density times the total area. So they gave me that information in my problem, so I can fill that in here. So the population density was 27,818 people. The total area was 302.65 square miles, which gives me a total population of 8,419,100 and 7.7, .7, but I'm going to round that up to 8. And the units we're using for population would obviously be people. So just to break down exactly what this means, remember this 27,000 represented my population density. So for every square mile, there were that many people that I would expect to find, that 27,818. Now, in New York City, there's 302.65 of these total squares. Now, I've only drawn five here, but you can imagine if 27,818 people live in every one of these squares, that's where I'm going to get the total population of 8,419,118 people.